Good evening. Welcome to the meditation for Christmas Eve Mass. I'm going to start with relaxation. Breathing in deeply, breathing out deeply. Letting your whole body settle into the chair and your mind and emotion settle into this moment. There's nowhere else to be. There's nothing else to do in this moment. So you can let your whole attention, your whole being show up here right now. Breathing in, breathing out. Tonight we will ponder a divine mystery given to us through revelation from Mother Mary Sophia. Pondering a divine mystery is like looking into the vast expanse of God. Beautiful and powerful. The pondering, the contemplation, the hope of revelation is in itself a revelation. Layers of beauty, of depth, of meaning, of life continue to unfold, revealing that there is no final answer to the most profound questions. There are instead a hundred million answers each answer tumbling joyously to the next question, a new question, one which would not have been conceived except by the previous answer, and so on and so forth until the end of time. So dear ones, contemplate these words as if they were a divine mystery unfolding within you this night. Do not be anxious to reach the end, but rejoice in each question as it unfolds. Now we will contemplate the words of Mary given through revelation through this imperfect vehicle. Mary says, There are no words to describe the night that Jesus was born. But if you listen carefully with the subtle parts of your heart, these words will begin to unveil a mystery which will ignite the truth hidden within your soul. From the moment Jesus' soul attached to the embryonic body within my womb, we began to speak to one another without words. We rejoiced in the divinity we saw reflected in the other. We were wrapped in the ecstatic joy of the breath of God. He breathed out and I breathed in. I breathed out 
and he breathed in. He breathed out and I breathed in. I breathed out and he breathed in. And with each breath, we were more perfectly united in the eternal life breath of the Creator. As he grew within me, my joy grew. It seemed impossible to feel more joy, more love, more union, more light, but it never ceased to expand. We fed and nourished each other with a continuous transfusion of God. Each of us sharing our union with God with one another, like one infinity touching another. In each other, we felt and saw our most beloved God in a new light. We saw God as the other saw God, and it was more beautiful than anyone can ever express. It is perhaps a little like being in love with the sunset, and then seeing the same utterly incredible, breathtaking sunset with a whole new set of colors. The hue of his soul as a totally unique creation let me see my beloved with new eyes. With eyes that were as completely as in love with God and he felt the same in me. It was a miracle more beautiful than can be expressed in human language. But if you invite your soul to speak to you without words, you may begin to conceive of this kind of love. Joseph loved me with a pure human love. He was the most faithful and kind devotee and he was a treasure to me in my life as Mary of Nazareth. But he could not begin to understand the supernatural love that I knew with God and with the Christ child within my body. He had a pure human heart which can love something completely without reason, without doubt, and without any mental comprehension like the love of a small child for its mother and its father. He demonstrated an incredible state of humble adoration, and he is your guide as you learn to reach the pinnacle of human love. Yet the love that Jesus and I shared was not a human love. It was a divine love magnified by the presence of divine love. Two souls who had sold off every human attachment for the endless love of the Creator, seeing in each other the reflection of that infinity and discovering an unfathomable expansion. By the time the day of his birth had arrived, our souls were bound by a total understanding of one another and a complete harmony of purpose, mission, and love for humankind. And then, just as he was born from my body, my soul relinquished itself entirely to the Christ Sophia and I was born into an entirely new consciousness. 
This is a reality which you cannot really begin to fathom. But I give you these words as a seed that can grow into realization of this truth. At the very moment of my rebirth, the Christ Sophia was also born into the tiny body of my child. In him, I recognized a new facet of the face of God, and I rejoiced in the miracle of fragility that was before me. Can you begin to understand? The pure soul of Jesus which was bound to the reality of Christ, held in the body of a defenseless child. Meditate on this. The pure soul of Jesus, which was bound to the reality of the Christ, held in the body of a defenseless child. This reality has layers so deep that if you were to unfold them, you would find yourself at the gate of heaven itself. On that night, God gave to me two gifts, one as astounding and unfathomable as the next. I was brought into the full consciousness of Christ Sophia. And within the span of a single breath, I was holding that same reality, bound into the perfectly naive flesh of a newborn. I held in my arms the perfect expression of one of the faces of God, the infant. And I was captivated by the beauty of another face of God, the mother. I tumbled through layer after layer of ecstasy as the humble heart of Joseph prostrated itself to the infant God and his mother. The angels sang and the pure hearts of the shepherds rejoiced. Though the conscious mind of the human race still slept, a spark was born in the dark waters of the subconscious mind. And thus, the most blessed journey to the cross began. Breathe in and breathe out. Contemplating what you have heard. Contemplating the words of Mary. the experience she described of communion with the Christ child within her. The rejoicing. And harmony. and sharing of life breath. Imagine the joy of a soul completely united to God, recognizing another soul completely united to God. 
and each one seeing in the other a reflection of their beloved but in a new way Seeing in each other a new face of God, a whole new aspect of God's nature. Which was the most joyful thing they could experience because their love for God was so complete. And then, on the quiet, cold evening, in the manger, Jesus was born into a tiny fleshly body and Mary seeing him recognized again a whole new face of God and was transported into embodying the fullness of the Mother God energy. And the light was born into the world And every simple heart rejoiced. All the hearts which did not need to understand in order to rejoice, rejoiced. And there was peace brought to people of goodwill. And this was just the beginning. This light will grow. As the body of Jesus grows. And will expand. In intensity and scope. until the day that the complete gift of sacrifice is offered and the world is offered complete healing. But in this moment, on this night, we celebrate this subtle miracle The most precious, fragile miracle of the Christ Sophia consciousness being wrapped in the tiny body of a little boy. And we let that simple, humble part of our hearts feel the exaltation hear the angels singing, rejoice at the hope and the light and the joy and the peace entering into the world in this delicate little package held in the loving arms of Mother Mary and the vast consciousness of Mary Sophia with the loving protection of the humble Joseph this light will grow 
and grow and grow.